Hey everyone, welcome to the show. I am the Fire Escape Griller, and I haven't posted a video in a couple of months. I apologize for that, but I've been really busy with work, and we had the holidays, and plus I've moved apartments. I am no longer in Brooklyn. I am now in Manhattan. So for my first video in the new kitchen, I've decided to enlist the help of a fellow YouTuber. He's an excellent cook, a fantastic food photographer, videographer, and editor. Please welcome. Steve from Not Another Cooking Show. What's up? We making videos? <laughs> Make some videos, man. <laughs> so, Steve, welcome to my kitchen. I appreciate you being here. Thanks for having showing me. Showing some, me some tips around the kitchen. Uh, especially the lighting stuff is really going to be helpful for me. It's my pleasure. It's a challenge to work within like a small New York City apartment kitchen. Um, so I thought it would be fun to try and make it work. Use some of the principles that I would use if I was shooting my own video, but just apply it into like a different setting and with a different creator and just see what happens. So stick around because today we're going to make some steak frites. I'm going to be in charge of the steak. Steve here. I'm making the frites. All right. Stick around, this is gonna be a good one. So what kind of steaks we got cooking today? All right, so I've got two beautiful New York strips, and I was gonna go with hanger steaks. I know a lot of New York City restaurants are doing hanger steaks right now, but I decided I went to the butcher today and the New York strips look terrific. So I've got these bad boys here, and there is a bit of fat along the side. This is hard fat. So I'm gonna take some of that off, and I'm gonna actually use that in the pan as our oil when we start cooking. So as you, as you can see, there's just a big amount of fat right there. And really, that's not going to render off. We can just take that right off before we cook. We're going to smoke the house out. never one for those big pieces of fat cap on steaks. I remember growing up everyone was like that's the best part, that's flavor, but then you realize when you can actually know how to cook that, that usually is not the kind of fat that you want. Yeah, I don't think it is. I mean, you want the fat marbled through the meat. Yeah. This is great fat, but this stuff on I know side... people growing up we used to just eat that fat and like say it was good. <laughs> it's like, it's inedible. It doesn't even chew. Give it to the dog. Just take that fat off. Not all of it. You can leave some of it on. Just pat this down. Make sure it's nice and dry. Oh yeah, it'll get a nice crust on it. A little bit of olive oil. 
both sides. We've got some sea salt. This is Himalayan sea salt. You can find this pretty much anywhere these days. It's the pink Himalayan sea salt. And some fresh ground black pepper. And what you do to one side, of course, you have to do to the other. Okay, the first thing you want to do <laughs> when you're heads up, hands there's your smoke stick, in the kitchen. The get, alarm may sound. You want to get ready. The alarm is loud. Of this, <laughs> the smoke detector's got to go. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with some of that fat that we took off the, the steak. Just gonna get our pan a little fat so that the steak doesn't stick too much. Another piece here. That. And then place our steaks in, and you want to place them in away from you so they don't get splattered. I crushed them up a little bit, just to release some of those oils. Okay. Start brushing that oil, brushing that butter over these steaks. That's probably good. So you have a steak for each. So it looks like you don't need a grill. <laughs> or a fire escape. Well, maybe not need. <laughs> I, I'm going to miss my grill, I gotta be honest. Well, seeing as though you know what you're doing, how about you come over to my place when the weather gets warm? And we can play with outside with some fire and cook up some food. Yeah, let's definitely do that. Get that Weber kettle going. Cheers. All right. So, <laughs> cheers, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. These fries are great. So we got a nice strip steak.
cooked to like a nice medium pink. Well seasoned, it's got a lot of salt and pepper and flavor, and just a really satisfying steak. And then you got some french fries. It's cooked three times to make sure that they're crispy. Um, salted right out of the fryer. And you got a perfect meal any night of the week. Here we go. Be serious. Right. So that's say, what we got. Say, um... <laughs> Uh, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe down below, leave a comment, hit that notification bell. So that's, you gotta slam that, smash it. <laughs> smash that button. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna say, so that's what we got. Um, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Yeah, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe, and of course, keep on grilling. And feed yourself. Can I, can and, I go, say that? <laughs> and go feed yourself. And go feed yourself. Do that again. I cut you off. I didn't know that. Say, say, just start with and keep on grilling because you can always cut. And keep on and keep on grilling or something. That's not grilling. You got cast iron. I got to make cast iron. We use cast iron to kind of grill. Stay out the window here. We have no fire escape anymore. Actually, I don't know how I would get out of here if there was a fire. <laughs>